Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here to listen to my Sunday School story. But before I get to that, guess what happened to me today? I was getting dressed and I put my socks on and look, hole in my sock. Well, I heard that you can actually fix a sock that has a hole in it. You just need a, a needle and some thread. So I brought that along because I thought maybe I could just show you how it's done. You have to thread the needle first. That means to push the thread through the eye of the needle, which is the hole at the top. I'll just do that. Hmm. Well, this is a lot trickier than I thought it would be. Maybe I'm not going to be so good at fixing this sock. But anyway, you know, the problem of threading the needle reminds me of something that happened to Jesus. One day, a rich man came to Jesus, and he asked what he needed to do in order to get to heaven. Jesus answered him, you know the commandments. Do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not lie, do not cheat. Honor your mother and father. Well, the young man said he'd followed all of those commandments ever since he was small. He'd never broken a commandment. Then Jesus told him there was one more thing that he needed to do. Sell all you have and give all the money to the poor, Jesus said. Oh, the young man was really disappointed. He turned and walked away because he was very wealthy and he was just not willing to give up his wealth and his belongings. Not even if it meant he could go to heaven. Then Jesus turned to his disciples and he said, It's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Wow, I couldn't even get thread to pass through the eye of a needle. Could you imagine trying to put a camel through that little tiny hole? That seems pretty impossible to me. But does that mean Jesus is saying it's impossible for a rich man to enter heaven? I don't think that's true, because next Jesus said, With man this is impossible, but not with God. With God all things are possible. And that's the God we serve, the God of the impossible. There's lots of things that we can't do, but there's nothing that God can't do. He can do it all, because he can do the impossible. Let's talk to our awesome God right now. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful that you are the God of the impossible. Without you, it would be impossible for any of us to get to heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for watching today. I'll have another story for you next week, and I hope you'll be watching that one too. Have a great week. Bye.